which you guys got another video on how to receive security updates only on Windows 11. If you go into Windows updates, you'll see an area called get the latest updates as soon as they're released or available. And this is because Microsoft wants to be able to push out updates to you, whether it be security updates, hot fixes, drivers, and uh, feature updates as well. But if you just want to receive security updates and stay on the same version like this one here, we're on version 23H2 and we're on Windows 11 Pro. So if you want to stay on a particular version, then this video is for you. If you don't want to be updating to, say, the next version of Windows straight away and you want to hold off, then you can stop it by using this simple group policy edit or a registry editor if you are on Windows 11 or Windows 10 Home. If you're on Pro, you can use the group policy editor, which I'll show you first, and then I'll show you the registry edit after this one. So first off, feature updates are released annually. Feature updates add new features and functionality to Windows 11. They also come with lots of bugs, and a lot of people like to have a bit more control over when they are receiving, say, feature updates. But before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Create yourself an account and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a juicy 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you've done this, you'll be able to use PayPal to pay for your purchase and then they will send you your key and you'll be able to activate your version of Windows as simple as that. Check out the video description for more details. Now, let's get back to this tutorial. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to our search and type GPO or GP edit and open up the group policy editor. Once you're inside here, we're going to navigate to computer configuration and then we're going to come down to administrative templates. Open that one up there and we're going to come down to Windows components and then we want to drill all the way down to Windows updates. So let's open this up a little bit here and zoom out and we'll come all the way down to where it says Windows updates. Click on this one here and once you're here, you want to head over on the right hand pane here and look for manage updates offered from Windows updates. Click on this one and inside here you can have a bunch of different options available to you. We're going to concentrate here on uh, this one here, which says select the target featured update version. Once you open this box, you'll see it's not configured. Click on enable, and now we can give this a name. So for instance, we're gonna call this Windows 11, but if you're on Windows 10, put Windows 10 in there. Next, we need to put the target version for the feature update that we wanna stay on. For instance, we're gonna be staying on 23H2, and if you want to stay on the previous version, if you're on that previous version and you're not ready to upgrade to 23H2 just yet, then you put in the previous version like 22H2. It's that simple. So the targeted version policy allows you to specify which feature update version of Windows 11 or Windows 10 you would like the computer to move to or stay on until the version reaches end of service or end of life. So basically, that's what you need to do there to change it. You would need to change it after the fact so you'd receive newer updates when that time comes. If you don't update this policy before the device reaches end of service, the device will automatically be updated to the next version once it's 60 days past the end of service version, which we've got here. So next up, to specify the target release version, the same as the current version, Windows 11 will stay on this version until it reaches end of service. So you will not be forced to update to the next version if you stay on this particular version. And it will stay on that until it reaches end of service. It's that simple. And also, if you specify a target release version higher than the current version, Windows 11 or Windows 10 will directly update only to that specific version when that version is available. Now we need to make sure this policy is set. So open up the command prompt as administrator and type GP update space forward slash false and push enter. And this will say the policies have been updated. We can now close this window off and go to our Windows updates feature. So let's go ahead and click settings and go down to Windows updates. And you will now see that this area has been grayed out. This means that you will stay on the version of uh, Windows that you're on, and it's not gonna force a feature update to you. 
you will still receive all of your uh, security updates and your driver updates and also patches and fixes and hot fixes released by Microsoft. You're just not going to be uh, forced to download and install any feature updates. So let me go ahead and reverse this and turn this feature off so we do gain access to it. So I can show you how to do this inside the registry because it's important because people on Windows 10 or Windows 11 home will not have access to the group policy editor. So type reg edit inside the search box and open up the registry editor and navigate to HK local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows and Windows updates. It's on the screen right there. Just navigate to that location and we can now make our edits in the registry once we reach there. And we will be able to then do the same thing on a Windows 10 or Windows 11 home version. Now, again, if you've got a pro version, you won't need to do this in the registry. You can just use Group Policy Editor. And if you've got a version of Windows above Windows 11 or 10 Pro, then obviously you will still have access to all of this as well. So let's go ahead and go over to the right hand pane here now. And we need to create some keys here. So let's go new uh, string value. And we need to give the string value a name. So we're going to call this product version. And it needs to have a capital P and a capital V inside there, just like I'm doing here. Once you've done that, we now need to give it a name inside the product version. And we're going to call this either Windows 10 or Windows 11, depending on what version of Windows you're on. So we're on Windows 11. So we'll just put Windows 11 here and we're going to click OK. Next, we need to give us our another name here. And we're going to give this a D word 32 bit value here. So let's go ahead and then give this a name and we're going to call this target release version. So let's go ahead and type this out. Now target needs to be a capital T release needs to be a capital R and version needs to be a capital V just like you're seeing here. So just type that out exactly how that is. And once you do that, you can give this a value of one. It will have a value of zero at the beginning. So double click on it and change the value to one. And this will tell Microsoft that you want to stay on that uh, targeted version. Next, we need to do another key. So right click again, new, and we're going to do string value. And we're going to do the last key here called target released version info. And these all need to be capitals to begin with, like target needs to be capital T, release needs to be capital R, version needs to be capital V, and info needs to be capital I, just like you see here. We can double click on this one, and this is the version that we're on. So for instance, if you're on 22H2, you would put 22H2. If you're on 23H2, you would put 23H2. We're on 23H2, so we're going to put that in there and click OK. And now we're set. Now with that set up like that, we are now running the same policy as we would in Group Policy Editor. We're just doing this inside the Registry Editor as well as Group Policy Editor. So you can choose which way you want to go about doing this. But if we go back over to the Start button and click Settings here and go down to Windows Updates, you will see this area has now been grayed out. And that means we're telling Microsoft we don't want feature updates as of yet. And now we can go back in here if we want to and delete these if we want to receive uh, feature updates. Now, it's important to remember if you've got these set, whether it be in the registry or group policy, you will not receive the latest feature updates. If you forget they are there, they will stay there and you will stay on that version until end of life or end of service of that version of Windows. And then after 60 days of that version of end of life or end of service, you will then be forced to download the next update version. So there we go. So that is now done and we're back to normal. And that's how you can uh, sort of stop or block feature updates, but still receive security updates, patches, fixes, and all that sort of stuff through your Windows updates. But you won't receive any sort of feature updates or forced to download any feature updates. So if you're one of those people that like to receive feature updates straight away and get them installed on your PC, then this video is not for you. If you're one of those people that want to stay on the current version but not be forced to go to the next version straight away, then this will keep you on that same version. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.